Hey everyone, it's Michael Goosebumps fan. This camera is being a little weird. I can't figure out what it is, if it's a, a coloring because of my shirt being orange. I don't know, I can't figure it out. But I had a special video for you today I wanted to show you guys. A while back I did a video kind of like this where I collected three different bookmarks called Bone Chilling Bookmarks. Uh, they were the Mummy, Slappy, and Cuddles, the hamster from Monster Blood 2. And I thought about it, you know, I, I just talk about always here on the channel. I do reviews of like the movies for Goosebumps and the TV episodes and um, I'm not really a big merchandise collector. I talk about the video games, you know, I've, I've reviewed a couple of those. <clears throat> but the thing is, I haven't really told you about how I love board games. I don't think I've ever mentioned this on the channel, to my knowledge. Um, I love board games, never really played many Goosebumps board games. I have one that I've had and now I did a big board game haul the last couple of weeks. And uh, I found all of them. I found all of them, to my knowledge, this is all of them. I don't know, but uh, I'm pretty confident this is every one. I've looked all over the internet. To my knowledge, these are the only ones that exist. Um, I think there is one, two, three, four, five, six of these that exist. And the last one I think that recently came out was the one for the 2015 movie, uh, which is the one that my fiance and I's, um, well, my fiance's ex-best friend, best friend, whatever you want to call her, uh, her and her husband got this for me for Christmas a while back. Uh, it was cheaper at the time, but still, I thought it was a very nice thing. They knew I loved Goosebumps, and I still do, of course, you know. It was a very nice present to be given by someone that uh, is not very fond of you, you know what I mean? Like, but even so, uh, <laughs> this is pretty cool. This is the only one I've played so far. I've had the other ones coming in over time, and I've been collecting them. I'm trying not to squish anything. I'm trying to put them in certain areas so they don't get smushed. Some of these boxes are old and brittle, and some are newer you know, and more fresh like that one. But uh, some of these games are brand new. Some are not, to my knowledge, from what the people said on eBay that I bought these from, apparently all of these are fully, completely in box. Everything is there. I checked. I believe they are. I believe. Now, again, I've not played any of these other games yet, so I can't really recommend them right now. I think as time goes on, maybe in the next couple of weeks or so, over the course of the next couple of weeks, I'll try to sit my fiance down, uh, maybe my mom, my grandfather, maybe we'll play some Goosebumps board games and See if they're any fun. I don't know. I don't know. It might be. Might not be. I don't know. We're, we're going to see, possibly. And I'll do reviews, but it's kind of hard to review a board game. I guess it's all about the entertainment value that really matters to me, just like I say with the books and the movies and the TV episodes and all that stuff when it comes to this amazing book series R.L. Stein came up with that I love and cherish so much. Uh, but anyway, let's see. Where should I start with? Let's talk with some of the older ones. I'll put that right there. We've got... One of the big ones a lot of people talk about is Terror in the Graveyard. One of the old timey games that has Ghost Beach on it. Um, I'm not sure how much Ghost Beach is referred to in this. I know it's mostly like a like a cemetery, haunted cemetery type thing. Um, looks kind of cool, man. All of these games seem like they're very basic in structure. Kind of kind of what I prefer from games. You know, the simpler a board game is the more fun I have with it. I'm not good at things like Betrayal on House on Haunted Hill or, you know, Dungeons and Dragons. I'm not good at stuff like that. I don't really find as much enjoyment of those things because they're so complicated. You have to really know your stuff to play those games and have a fun time with them. Uh, for me, I just like simple board games like Pac-Man, or not Pac-Man. <laughs> Pac-Man's not a board game. Well, it sort of is, but not really. Um, there is a Pac-Man board game. I'm not sounding stupid right now. I probably am anyway. But even so, uh, I like things like Monopoly. My favorite game of all time is Clue. Easily. Clue is my favorite game, board game ever. I think it is one of the best games ever made. Uh, if it was not something you had to pay for, I would buy the app for it and play it on my phone all the time. But uh, I ain't paying seven bucks for a digital game. Anyway, <laughs> I love uh, the art. I love Ghost Speech, one of my favorite books from the series. So that's pretty cool. Here's the back of the box, in case you want to look at that a little bit. There's not really a whole lot to show you. Uh, the little pieces are kind of neat. I think they're just random people. I don't think they're like a monster or anything. You don't play as monsters in this. That newer game that I showed you, you do play as monsters. Uh, the first one I showed you, you do play as monsters in this. Uh, you have little, you have like little cards and stuff that can help you. This has very much a Candyland. Yeah, is it Candyland? Yeah, Candyland. This has very much a Candyland feel to it. So I'm not really sure what to compare these older games to, but the 2015 movie game, it just fell over. It's very much like Candyland, if you love that as well. I'm nostalgic in a lot of ways. If you can't tell, I'm a almost 26-year-old man talking about Goosebumps because it's great and I love it. But I'm also a very nostalgic person, a very sentimental person. So things like Candyland 
ring out to me. There was an old game, board game thing for an old, uh, kind of a, a minuscule type of show that had some really cool toys. They still have toys coming out. It's called Rescue Heroes. They had a board game back in the day. I don't know if we still have that in my house. I really hope we do because I loved that game. I played it so much with my grandmother when I was a kid. But uh, Rescue Heroes, man, it's pretty cool. Uh, I saw that at one point on TV the other week. They were playing a rerun on like a on like some kind of channel. I think it's called uh, I don't remember what the channel is called, but I was kind of surprised. It was a smaller channel for these like local antenna airwave channels you can get without like having basic cable because I don't like cable. Uh, my fiance has one of these antenna things. We watched an episode of Rescue Heroes on it. I was a little surprised because I had never seen the show in like since the last 20 years of my life, so I was a little surprised by that. Anyway, this is about Goosebumps board games. Let's get going. Uh, Goosebumps One Day at Horrorland game. This is not new, of course, as you can tell, but it looks kind of fun. You have like a like a Ferris wheel with bones and all kinds of little cool stuff in here. Um, yeah, pretty neat. Um, it's going to be weird trying to figure out how to do these board game reviews when I get around to them. I, I know, of course, I'm going to put a lot of information in there. I had thought originally of cutting in you know, sections of showing the board itself assembled on my kitchen table or on my bed where I put my camera at for you guys and you know, something like that. I'm not really sure how I want to go about that right now, but I'll figure it out. Even if I just tell you about it, of course, you've seen the picture on the back of there. I'll show that again. Um, sounds kind of fun. Um, I don't really know what you do in it, but it sounds kind of neat. This is another one of the old ones. I'm not really sure which of these is the first Goosebumps board game, if any of these are. There might be another one I don't know about out there, or more than just one out there that I don't know about. Um, a Night in Terror Tower, which seems really fun. I have a feeling this might end up being my favorite of all the Goosebumps board games. Just because you have to physically build a tower, you drop a ball or something in here and it comes out and like wherever I guess the directions or the die or something twist the tower to, you know, when it, the direction has to go. Apparently whoever gets hit by the ball or whatever that drops out of here, if your character is near here, you're probably going to get hit and die. <laughs> so that's kind of, kind of dark for a, a kid's board game, you know, specifically a children's board game, but I'm stoked to see what it's going to be like. Um, again, brand new, sealed plastic and everything, you can still see the plastic on there. Um, I'm really excited about this, really, really hope it's a good one. And let's see, the next one up, this one I'm not that excited for. I thought it was going to be a lot different. Um, I'm surprised already by the size of the box. But the game itself, when I saw things online, I feel like my camera's too dark right now. Let me try something. Yeah, is it going to gonna work for me? No. I don't think you're going to work for me. Anyway, it doesn't matter as long as you guys can see me. Uh, there's this one called Goosebumps Shrieks and Spiders Game. And it's a cool cover. you got Curly, the Mummy, and Slappy, three of my absolute favorite monsters from Goosebumps. And... I don't understand exactly what this game is. There's like tiny little cards and then there's like a card that you have your monster and you put little tokens that are like Tim Jacobus book art on these things as you can see. I just, I don't understand what this is supposed to be. I tried reading the description back here. I really couldn't figure out much about it that made any sense outside of when you get into the game and read the instructions and whatnot. So I'm hoping that this will make more sense whenever I get around to playing it. At the moment, Again, it's probably going to be my least favorite, but we'll see. You never know. You might have a good time with this, so there's a chance it could be good. You know, as long as it's entertaining, like I said, it's really all that matters to me. And the final one that came today, uh, I'm not really sure if this is like a remake. Oddly enough, you know, we have like Resident Evil remakes and stuff. I'm not really sure if this is a remake of One Day at Horrorland, but also when Goosebumps Horrorland, the book series, was coming out, I don't know if this is towards the tail end of that series of books, or that era, if you want to call it that, or if it's more towards the middle or the beginning, I'm not really sure, but there was a Welcome to Horrorland game that doesn't look anything at all like the first game. But it could still be a remake, just a really crappy remake, but you don't know. I, I don't know. It could be cool. Uh, I don't really know anything about this. I don't know anything about it. There's like a centerpiece. There's the Coffin Cruise. It says that on the back. It's involved here. There's like Horror Zones, which I thought was kind of interesting. I'm not really sure what this game is going to be like. Here's the actual board itself. I don't know anything about this game, honestly. I, I really don't, but uh, again, as long as you're entertaining, I don't care if you're not fun. That didn't make any sense. As long as you're entertaining, I don't care about the board design or anything else, so hopefully these are good. It seems like all of these are aimed towards kids, which is more of my kind of interest in board games, like Clue and Monopoly and stuff like that. Uh, when you get into things like, what's that one? There's this one game Rachel loves, my fiance, and I, I hate this game so much. Uh, 
Rummy Cub, I think? I don't, I don't remember what it's called. It's terrible. I absolutely hate it. I'm terrible at it. I think it, it makes no sense at all. But all of these games look very basic and easy to understand. I didn't pay very much for each of these games. I think some of the open ones, like One Day at Horrorland and the first one I showed you, the, the Graveyard one, I think they were like 20 bucks a piece, which might sound expensive, but you have to realize these are old and a lot of people are charging a lot more for these. Uh, to be used board games that had the pieces in there, I'm thankful for that. I hope that I'm right and they are all there. I'm hoping it was honest salesmanship and I'm hoping that they're all pieces, are all involved in the boxes. Again, I open them up, I'm pretty sure they are. Pretty sure. Not entirely. Pretty, pretty decently sure. But uh, these games are not that expensive. Some of them are a little bit more pricey and some were actually cheap. I think the, the Sh Shrieks and Spiders game was like 10 bucks. You know, it's used and it had all the pieces, so... I don't know. I'm just glad to have the stuff. I like board games a lot. I actually love board games. I'm getting to the point of that in that part of my life. I used to be a big video gamer, and I'm at this point in my life now that I much, much, much more prefer board games because I can play them with a group of friends, but I don't really have any friends, you know? So it's like, I have my family, <laughs> and I have my fiance, and that's about it. So it's kind of a situation where you... It's kind of the advantage to video games. You can play online. Things like Comedy Night. I love Comedy Night. It's super fun. Um, you can play something like that online that nobody else in your family is going to care about. You know what I mean? Like, board games have kind of died out for a good reason, because families aren't close anymore, and it's kind of a shame. So, there's some sad stuff and some dark stuff you get into with this subject matter for why board games have just kind of fell off the face of the earth, why they've, a lot of them have went digital, like I said, with Monopoly. It's a big digital game. You always see people talking about that, and like, checkers and stuff like that, which I love checkers as well. Uh... But yeah, what do you guys think about these Goosebumps board games? Do you love this stuff? Do you hate it? What are your favorites about this series of games? Uh, don't spoil too much for me. I guess, there's not, I guess you can't really spoil a board game because it's an experience with a group of people. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say with that, but I'm hoping it'll be fun. Um, Goosebumps always manage to bring something fun to the table, no matter what it is, in some way, shape, or form. As long as Stein is kind of involved, he's not really involved as much as I know to these, but still, I'm sure there's going to be something nice and fun here. Even if it is kind of a cash grab, sometimes a lot of cash grabs can at least have an enjoyment factor to them, so I'm hoping that's the case here. Um, like I said, I do kind of plan over time to do individual reviews for each of the games and kind of get a little bit more in-depth and, you know, try to make it as simple as possible. But we'll get there when we get there, so don't worry. I just thought I'd make a video talking about these board games. If there's any other board games out there for Goosebumps that are like the bigger style like this, not some like little miniature party favor you got for your kids on their seventh birthday type thing. If you got bigger games like these, let me know. I'd love to pick up any more that I don't know about. I looked all over eBay. Like I said, I don't really think I saw anything else. I looked on Amazon, didn't see anything else that I knew of. So, I don't know. I would like to see more Goosebumps board games come out in the future. But again, board games kind of in a dark place right now. Uh, it's kind of a shame, but, uh, you know, it was a thing of the 90s. It was really popular in the 90s, but you still have some good ones out there, like the original Clue, not the new Clue. Not the new Clue. Uh, anyway, <laughs> what are your thoughts on all this stuff, guys? What are your favorite board games of all time? I'd love to hear all that down below, too. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being patient for my rambling commentary, and uh, may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you guys today. And, again, at some point I'll have reviews up, so I hope you'll subscribe and stick around and watch those if you're a big board game person. Yeah, thank you for watching. God bless you. Goodbye.